Yo, what's good? Big Z here, and today I'm going to answer the question that I get asked the most. I get asked this all the time. How do I find good singers for my tracks? And the answer is actually very simple. So I'm going to show you my whole process of how I get singers, how I reach out to them or their managers, how I word my emails to them so they will want to work with me. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I do. Hopefully this video will be helpful to you guys that have been asking me this question. So one thing that I constantly do is every time I listen to a song on Spotify or SoundCloud or anywhere, if I like the singer's voice a lot, then I'll write their name down in my phone. So I have a running list in my phone, in the notes on my phone, of hundreds of singers I could potentially reach out to to try to work with. So then when I finish a demo of a track that I want a singer on, I'll go through that list and kind of narrow it down so I can reach out to those people. So a big thing that I do is go through my SoundCloud likes and look for singers in there. So I'll go to my like tracks on SoundCloud. I haven't been using SoundCloud as much recently, but I'll just go through here until I find a singer I like and I'll add that to my list too. So for example, there's a song called Reckless by Mr. Belt and Weasel and I like the singer on that track. So I'll show you guys how I go about finding their contact information and reaching out to them to try to work with them. So the first thing I try to do is click on the actual SoundCloud link and see if the singer has been tagged in the description. In this case, they're not tagged, so I'm going to go ahead and try to search for them on SoundCloud. And it looks like this singer actually came up. Sometimes the singer won't have their own SoundCloud page and you'll have to Google them instead. You just Google their name and like singer Facebook and it usually comes up, but this is a good way to do it too. So I found her SoundCloud page. Um, it's definitely the same singer. So usually they have some links down here, maybe their Facebook page or Instagram page, but a website is good. So I'm going to go to her website and see if I can find her contact information. So yeah, for this singer, there's a big contact button at the top right of the page and it gives her manager's email, which is management at pollyannamusic.com. So now what I would do is send them a nicely worded email, reaching out to them with the song that I want her to be featured on and try to get them to work with me. So as a real life example, I'll show you guys the email that I wrote to Tima D's manager when I was trying to get her to work with me on my song Alive. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that email up. So here's the email that I wrote to her manager. You can read it word for word right here. But uh, you can see I had two tracks that I had finished, so I sent them two different options and she got to pick whichever track she liked the best to work on. So you usually want to start off the email with a little bit about yourself, like one sentence about some of your accolades to get them interested in working with you. So for this one I started off by saying I had 15 million plays on Spotify and SoundCloud and had been supported live by Zed and Oliver Heldens. So it's not bragging, it's just to pique their interest so they'll check out your Spotify page and maybe be more interested in working with you. Especially if they're a bigger singer, they're going to want to work with someone who's more accomplished. So that brings me to another point, which is you need to be self-aware of how big your music really is. If you've just started making music, you're not going to reach out to huge singers that have millions of plays. You're going to reach out to other singers that are just starting out as well. And likewise, if you're a bigger artist, then you can start reaching out to some bigger singers. So you just have to be completely self-aware of how big your music really is. So every time you finish a track that you want a singer on, you should take this process and just repeat it like 10 or 20 times, or maybe only 5 times. It just really depends who responds and who's willing to work with you. So I always repeat this process at least 5 times until I find a singer that wants to sing on one of my tracks. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Spotify below. Other than that, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.